Everyone here today, even if you're from big oil, from gas, from manufacturing, from electrical provider companies, your competitors, your partners, your strangers, you all have one thing in common. You would all are all fall underneath California Carbon Allowance Cap and Trade Program. You all have responsibilities to offset your emissions with allowances that are freely traded on the marketplace. Some of you may look at this as a tax. Some of you may consider that this is an opportunity to make some money. Some of you have obligations and some of you have allowances. Um, my name is Eric Holt. I'm with Holt Consulting. I started this company several years ago. Uh, my background is uh, I worked in the EU trade, EU uh, emissions trading scheme since inception. Uh, I've realized that uh, this is a market that is completely different than any other kind of stock or commodities market. So I founded my company around that and we're addressing California now. Um, we are $110 million annually. I have several uh, uh, locations and Everybody that works for me has been doing this quite a long time. So today's goals. Uh, we want to understand, have you guys understand why uh, the fundamental balance is not a good indicator for where prices will be. Uh, learn why uh, behavior is such a price driver. Uh, give you a little bit of insight on uh, how we uh, do pricing and uh, show you my price forecast uh, going forward. So everybody's heard of the regional greenhouse gas effect initiative, sorry, and the European Union uh, emissions trading scheme. And um, this graph here uh, is taken from uh, Huntsman. They're a global company that has uh, manufacturing facilities across the world and they've had to deal with um, most emission trading schemes already. So this is a graph showing you how even though uh, all these markets started as oversupply, so essentially there was more uh, allowances out there than any company needed, they still traded well above the price floor. Um, Reggie started at $2, uh, was, uh, the price floor was $2 and it was trading at $7, uh, you know, initial bids. Eventually, you know, first days of trading went down, but it, quite a bit off the price floor. Once again, California is oversupplied well into 2020, uh, just like the other trading emissions systems, and we expect it to do exactly the same, as 2014 has already shown. So price formulation and oversight for supplied systems. So the fundamental uh, analysis says that if it, in, an, in any oversupplied system that you should have prices trading at the floor. Um, Essentially, we're talking about supply and demand. You have an oversupply, uh, your demand should be low, and the prices should be low. But there's uh, a lot of differences in this system that don't allow it to happen. Um, people who have obligations, they don't have to pay right now. Um, you can buy your allowances well in advance. So a large corporation who may have liquidity uh, and capital will sit on that may buy a huge amount now when the prices are lower because substantially they go up every year and in California it's based off of uh, the inflation rate so every year it goes up at least three percent um, so it would make sense for you to buy now if you can hold it uh, those that get free allocations don't sell not everyone sells though so that's part of the total supply people sit on those they don't sell them right away that shortens the market and auctions do not fully clear, which means essentially when the auctions, they go to auction, not all of them can sell. That doesn't have to, we don't have to sell all of them. The government may keep some. Anyways, what we see, we find is the fundamental balance. If you subtract the market balance, what you have is what we call timing. And timing is based off behavior. Behavior of big corporations like yourselves, uh, government institutions, um, those that have obligations and those that have allowances. 
behaviors such as you're uncertain of what your budget will be next year, so you don't know what you should purchase. Uh, those that want to get in and make a dollar, they, they change the market as well. Market regulations, the government changes this, these sort of policies all the time, which drives the price up or down depending on how they change it or how the wind is blowing. Market strategy, some of you may look at this as a tax and just pay it when it comes. Some of you may decide that this is another way to bring in revenue. That affects the pricing for all of you. And risk management, how do you, as an organization, handle your risk? It's key to look at these and it's something that we assess as a company to give you a good evaluation of where the price is going to be um, day over day. So, once again, timing will shift supply and demand. Hedging. Hedging is going to shift supply uh, into the now, in fact, so the, and increase demand right now because people buy, hedge will, will buy them now based on the lower prices. Um, just holding uh, your allowances and selling them at a later date, <clears throat> you're automatically going to get more money. This, unlike uh, any other kind of stock uh, or commodity, goes up. It's mandated to go up every year uh, based off of inflation. So just holding it, you're getting a good percent. Better than you can do at the bank. Compliance. So everybody has different compliances. They have different things. And every year, uh, the government changes who is under what kind of regulation and how much you're going to have to pay. These things are constantly being debated, constantly being changes, changed, and so compliance will shift supply and demand. And vintages, you may buy an allowance in 2014, but you can sell that allowance in 2017, or you can buy a 2017 now and use it in 2015. These. Uh, it should, once again, oversupply the market, but allowing you to buy uh, vintages uh, now for the future um, also shortens to the market in the future. And you can use those now as well. Uh, once again, shorting up supply. So modeling timing, that's what we do. In order to forecast emissions market prices, you must understand how and why and when people will trade. It occurs over time. Vintages can be mixed, as I was saying, and matched. Imperfection of the market. As I was saying once again, the government constantly changes. And liquidity concerns, capital restrictions. How does your uh, company react to this? Is it a tax or they look at it as a uh, financial way to uh, earn, bring in more revenue? We have spent a lot of time researching different industries. We have spent a lot of time researching different companies. We have developed a model of everyone's behavior based on timing, the imperfection of the government's policy, which affects our, our model on a daily basis, and uh, liquidity of companies and how they're willing to spend their cash. We do all this analysis for you so that we can give you a clear picture of what it's going to cost to buy an allowance. Our assumptions. Uh, we know what emissions are. We know what they uh, historically have been and where they're going. Um, this is data that is already out there. Allocations. We know who has got allocations, free allocations. We know that. that is, that's information that is known. Uh, what we also make an assumption on is behavior though. Uh, we look at uh, market segments and determine that, for example, uh, uh, a government-owned utility is most likely uh, not going to move quickly on buying allowances now or hedging. They'll buy it when they need to, and that's about it. Um, and clearly some other companies who are more centered around trading uh, their own stocks and trading uh, and buying commodities, they might look at this as another opportunity well, they do. They look at this as another opportunity to trade and make money. So here's my forecast uh, from 2013. We showed that uh, the prices should have been at a floor of 11.7. Uh, the fundamental line is on the bottom. Um, but if you would have bought 1 million CCAs at the beginning of the year, at 11.7, when actually when they began trading, and sold Q4, 
um, with our accurate base line scenario, you would have made $2.5 million alone. So Holt Consulting can help where we know the fundamental balances are bad. We've proven that in other markets. We know how to handle behavior and we know how timing and them are intermixed. Uh, please reach out to us. Uh, you can talk, call Adam Hip or myself at the uh, following number. And you really need to just determine whether or not your company needs to look at this as a tax or really start saving money and actually making money on this because you can. Thanks for coming.